Blessings to you all in the name of Jesus. Uh, God bless you from wherever you are. And uh, we are live. Amen, amen, amen. We are live. Not for a long time. I want to help people with uh, how to properly pray. I know um, service just ended not too long ago, maybe an hour ago. It was a powerful service. The great apostle Jean did his thing. And I know so many people are blessed. Um, I'm not going to leave you hanging, but I want us to tap into this thing, to the glory of God. And I know uh, something amazing will happen. I've been speaking to you how, about how to properly pray. And I explained to you that there are three realms of prayer. Mm -hmm. And I want you to share this as many times as you can. As many times as you can. Uh, because this is going to be a blessing to somebody. It's going to transform somebody. And it's going to bring somebody to the place of their calling in the Lord Jesus. The worst thing a child of God could ever do is waste in prayer. Mm. I'll say that one more time. Mm. The worst thing a child of God could ever do, you cannot afford to waste in prayer. You know, we are not like those people that don't know God, who need to go to the mountains, need to go to the rivers, need to go to different places to make themselves feel a certain way. We have a God who speaks back to us. Yeah. We have a God who is all-knowing. We know him. The Bible says it like this. Jesus said it, my sheep know my voice. So as children of God, we know when he responds. So if you have a monologue when you are praying, you are wasting in prayer. Mm. I'll say that one more time. Mm. If your prayer time consists of a monologue, you are wasting your, your prayer time. You're not praying because prayer is not a monologue because that's not the intention of prayer. Now, the first two realm of prayer, we said there are three realms in the flesh, in the soul and in the spirit. Prayer of the flesh, prayer of the soul and prayer of the spirit. You have to remember the way God looks at the being of man or how he created man is different organs because to God we are not... We are technically, we are triune also. Mm -hmm. Not technically, actually correctly. We have a body, we have a soul, and we have a spirit. All these three are independent, but they still depend on one another. Mm -hmm. All three are completely distinct and different. They are completely distinct and different, but yet they are one. And one cannot carry out their will without the rest being involved. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of Christians confuse the spirit and the soul because they don't know the secret that I'm about to tell you. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says it like this. The word of God is sharper than a double-edged sword. In the piercing and dividing, what was the first division? Soul and spirit. Mm -hmm. The bones and marrow. Because why did it start with soul and spirit? Because a lot of you think you're having a spiritual experience, yet you're having a soulish experience. Wow. I saw a vision. No, you did not. You saw a vision of the soul. You never got to the spirit. You don't know what your spirit is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is why many of you, when you say God spoke to me, it looks like a dream. It looks hazy. You are not sure. It is an interpretation of what is happening with your spirit. But your soul has not grasped the realm of your spirit yet. Mm. So how it comes to you, it comes to you in flashes and in dreams. I feel like God spoke to me. I, I, I can't tell how he looked like. I know an angel come to me, but it's so all over the place because your soul does not recognize your spirit. And your spirit does not recognize your soul. Mm. And your soul does not recognize your body. Everything is blood. Mm. But when you read that about people who had encounters, Daniel is my favorite because he breaks down different levels of visions. He talks about the visions of my head, visions that he saw when he was meditating. Then he goes on to say, 
I saw the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in my dreams, meaning he had visions of the, of the soul in, in, when he was asleep. But then he finally met Gabriel physically. Mm -hmm. But that physically was physical, but it was spiritual. Mm -hmm. Remember when Saul was going to Damascus, he had an encounter with Jesus. But that encounter was with his spirit, not his body. Mm -hmm. His body was in shock. The Bible says he was blind, but he wasn't actually physically blind. He was, his spirit was in shock. Mm. If you really read that, it kind of messes you up a little bit. Because he says, others did not hear the voice. They just felt a presence. But he was having a full-on conversation with somebody that people could not hear. Yet the voice was audible. Mm -hmm. So many of you don't understand the audible voice of God is not in the physical realm. Mm. It's in the spirit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if somebody's getting this. Mm. I had, the first time I heard an audible voice of God when I was prophesying was at the house. Mm. I remember I was praying for this Spanish woman, touched her, bam, she fell down. I heard the angel of the Lord loud ask her who Louise is. I got so afraid. Every hair in my body stood. Every, everything that could stand stood. And I looked back and I looked again and I looked confused who is talking to me this way because i had had experiences with god this was different this was so weird then i came myself down i spoke in a lot of tongues <laughs> because i was in shock then i looked at the woman i said where is louise she began to cry my husband is louise he's been on drugs he's not been home and this is then we prayed for her Mm -hmm. But that was not information for my soul. That's why I got scared. You know, fear comes from the soul, doesn't come from the spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me now explain to you why the realm of prayer should never begin in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm. But it begins in the spirit. Number one is that prayer, if you read Genesis chapter one, the first conversation God ever had with man was from the perspective of the spirit. God looked in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. He says, let us make man in our image. Let him have dominion over this and this and this. Then God spoke to man after he had made him. I believe verse 27 and verse 28. Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Notice God did not say, make sure she's beautiful. Mm. Make sure she's handsome. Make sure she's compatible. Make sure she's this. Make sure she's attractive. Because God is from the agenda of the spirit. The only reason God constituted sex is to pro procreate. Mm -hmm. Other than procreation, it has no point to God. Mm -hmm. But in the realm of the flesh, to entice you mm -hmm. to actually do what God wants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you get it now? Mm -hmm. So the agenda of God spiritually always will not gratify the flesh. Wow. Mm. So the point of prayer was originally, and it is the only way everybody should pray. Your prayer must always begin in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Because when you don't pray with your spirit, you have no way to know what God wants. Wow. Mm. wow. Because the prayer of the soul has to do with you. The prayer of the body has to do with you. The only realm of prayer that has to do with what God wants is your spirit. Mm. So how many of you go and pray and you know what God wants you to pray for? You know the direction that God wants you to, to look at. You know the direction, the, 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 the way God wants you to move. Let me find this scripture for you before I read this. This will make you understand what I'm saying. I don't know if somebody can, me, can hear me. Okay. Romans chapter 1 verse 9. Start from verse 8. Start from verse 8 to 9. Listen to what Paul is saying. A lot of your pastors, and if you're men and women of God, this is correction to you. If you're men and women of God, this is correction to you. I'll say it one more time. If you are a pastor, you are an evangelist, you are, you are a servant of God who stands before people, stop using your intellect. That's why you have no power. Mm. Stop using your intellect. That's why you have no power. That's why you're powerless. That is why you have fans. You don't have sons and daughters in the faith. 
You don't have people you have raised. Because you're operating physically, you're not understanding that this thing is not about a good word that impressed me, that touched me. No, that's why you have no substance. Mm. You have good words, encouraging words, but not spiritual words that give life. Mm. Mm. I can stand and there is a sick person. I said, rise up and walk. They will walk. You, you will preach very good words, very sweet words. The person will go home still in a wheelchair. Mm. Mm. Yet we serve the same Jesus. That is wrong. And many of you think that, ah, you know, I just want to be closer to God. You, God will never be closer to you than he is now. Yeah. Jesus said, I am closer than a friend. I will never leave you nor forsake you. That is not dependent on your prayer. Your prayer life only makes you aware of his ability to be with you regardless of anything. Mm -hmm. But your prayer doesn't make him come. He already came to you. So some of you don't, when you feel the presence of God, you don't understand that that day I was more conscious of his presence, so I felt it. But you think that day God's presence came strong. Who told you that God doesn't come strong? Mm. Oh, let us welcome the presence of God right now. That's foolishness. God is already there. Mm. The Bible says, if two or three are gathered in my name, I am in their midst. Do you know what that means? He's not saying because they gathered, now he will come. He's saying, no, I am the center of the reason why they came together. Mm. You have to understand old English. Mm. You have to understand the language. If two or three have gathered in my name, I am in their midst. He's saying, I am the one who made you all come. Nobody comes to me unless I call you. Wow. <laughs> but we are there in the midst. We have gathered in his name saying, Father, we welcome you. He's the one who is welcoming you. <laughs> I don't know if somebody is getting this. It is sad because our consciousness is so dull. Oh, Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. Read this. Listen to what Paul is saying. Romans chapter 1, verse 8 to 9. Romans chapter 1, verse 8 to 9. Yes. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ mm -hmm. for you all. Mm -hmm. That your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. Mm -hmm. For God is my witness. Who is his witness? God. He's, he's saying, God is my witness. Uh huh. For God is my witness whom I serve with my spirit. Oh, God is my witness whom I serve with my spirit. He's saying, God knows I don't serve him in the flesh. I serve him with my inner man. Mm. For God is my witness whom I serve with my spirit. You see, many of you, there is no witness to proclaim that mm, you're not serving God in in the spirit. Some of you think serving God in the spirit is praying in tongues. Some pastors, they have tapped in, they have only served God with their spirit maybe once in their whole ministry. Mm. Some maybe twice, some maybe three times. But Paul is saying, I have never served God without my spirit. So if you are preaching, you are teaching, you are praying, and the influence of your own spirit is not the one leading the way, you're not praying. Wow. When, uh, 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 when Haggai ran away with Ishmael, she was in the wilderness. She prayed and prayed and prayed. God did not hear him, her. She prayed. She prayed, she prayed, she prayed. God never heard a single word a guy prayed. Yet her son is dying. But her son, she laid her son, looked away so that she doesn't watch him die. The Bible says, and the angel of the Lord heard from heaven the voice of the lad. So the boy prayed and heaven heard him without being able to open his mouth. Mm. And the angel of the Lord came down and said, Hey, hey guy, what are you doing here? I heard the voice of the young boy crying. Mm -hmm. You need to go back to your master and uh, water is here. Give him water and then you guys go home. It means hey guy would have, her son would have died and she would have said, God, let my son die. Yet God did not hear her. Why? She was calling God from the flesh, not the spirit. Wow. Many of you, that is how your prayer is. The day God hears you said, I've been praying for this miracle for 20 years. God is saying, huh? You only prayed one day. You prayed on uh, November. What date is today? 18th. I only heard you November 18th. 
But you're claiming you've been praying for this since 1995. Mm. So the mother is crying, oh God, oh my father, oh Lord, my son is dying. Give us a solution. She didn't even pray for water. <laughs> Give us a solution, Lord. Then the angel of the Lord said, hey, hey guy, what are you doing in the wilderness? I heard the voice of the young boy calling to heaven. Yet the boy is dying. No words, nothing. But the angel is moved. Hey, we, 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 we heard this boy calling. What is going on? Do you see how we are wasting in prayer? Do you see how we're wasting in prayer? Let me prove to you another way. Let me prove you something else. And then I will show you how to pray with your spirit. Amen, 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 amen. Because this is a very critical one. Because this one sets the tone for everything else. Amen. Are, are you sharing? Let me see if people are listening. Are you here, guys? Are you here? Some of you, you are not under a curse. God just can't hear you. <laughs> ah. Okay, I see people are here. Can you keep sharing? Keep sharing. Let's keep sharing this. Let's keep sharing. Let me, let me uh, show you. The Bible says this, I believe in Isaiah. Before they call, I will answer. Mm. Bef while they are still speaking, I will hear. So prayer is not dependent on your mouth mm. if you're praying with your spirit. Mm. Mm. When, remember this scripture. Before they pray, before they call, I will answer. Mm -hmm. While they are still thinking, while they are still speaking, I will hear. Mm -hmm. God is saying before your intention, just because you inclined to do it, I have already heard you and I've already answered you. Mm -hmm. That means that your flesh is on delay. Mm -hmm. Your flesh is reacting to something that your spirit should have already done. If God hears you before you open your mouth, it means that your spirit is, react, is, is forcing your flesh to respond to something that God has already settled. How do we know that? When I pray with confidence that it is already done, it means that my spirit already took care of it. Mm. My body is just a reflex of what has already happened. Is somebody getting this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Watch this. Daniel, 21 days. Praying deeply for 21 days. Crying to the Lord for 21 days. Crying, crying to God, crying to God. Angel Gabriel shows up on the 21st day. He said, ah, Daniel, most esteemed servant of the Most High God, from the day you set your mind concerning these things, mm. I was already sent. Not the day you started fasting. Not the day you started praying. From the day you set what? Your, your attention towards this thing, mm. I was already sent. It means the prayer of the spirit does not begin with words. It begins with intention. Wow. Wow. Not the will. Intent. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody didn't hear what I said. Somebody didn't hear how I said it. Have you ever just felt like you need to pray? Mm -hmm. There is no danger. You just feel like you should pray. Not, oh, I woke up at 333. <laughs> at 111. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you know why I'm doing this? Because we are too much of babies. We need to come out of the... We don't, you see, whenever you need something physical to make you aware of God, it means you're not spiritual. It means you're still at the baby stage. You see, Mabi is the only baby here. She opened her eyes for a second and closed it. <laughs> Mabi is the only baby here. She needs to be told when to eat. Mm -hmm. yeah. When we look at Andrew and Bubs, when they are hungry, they will look forward to eat. Mm -hmm. We no longer have to chase them down. Yeah. When they are hungry, they will look for food. Is there anything to eat, Grandma? Once in a while, we'll tell, hey, guys, dinner is ready. They'll be like, I'm not hungry. Mm -hmm. Five minutes later, they know we know. After they have 
gotten over their games, their stomach will push them, they will come and eat. Mm -hmm. Mabi right now, even if she wanted to eat, she can't cook. She can't make a sandwich. She can't make cereal. So you have to feed her because she has no ability. Mm -hmm. is, is somebody understanding this? Mm -hmm. So whenever you read this, let me find a scripture. Everything I want to do, I want to do it with scriptures mm -hmm. to remove skepticism. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. I won't be long, guys. Keep sharing. Amen. Let somebody's life change. Amen. Amen. Uh huh. Listen to this. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. Mm -hmm. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Oh. So if your prayer, your supplication, and all your desires is not led by the what? Spirit. Spirit. Wow. You're not praying. Mm. Read it one more time. Praying always with all prayer and mm. supplication in the spirit. So what does it mean to pray in the spirit? Radaba Shanda is not praying in the spirit. That's praying in tongues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praying in other tongues. Mm -hmm. You're still in the realm of men. Mm. It has not taken you into the realm of the spirit. Mm. It is a language that is a secret language that is flowing from the bowels of your spirit, but your body is also praying. Your body is involved. So it is not praying in, it's not praying in the realm of the spirit, but it is praying in tongues. Mm. The Bible makes a distinction between praying in the spirit and praying in tongues. Mm -hmm. Because if I can petition, if I can petition, in the spirit, it means then praying in the spirit is not praying in tongues. It means the same request I have in the flesh, I can pray for them using my spirit. Is that making sense? Mm -hmm. Is this making sense to somebody? Yes. Praying in the spirit is not praying in tongues. Praying in the spirit is praying using your spirit. Mm -hmm. Praying in the spirit is praying using your spirit. I'll say it one more time. Praying in the spirit is praying using your spirit. I know people who pray in tongues that are the most carnal people on earth. Ooh, thank you, Lord. They will do praise dance, zero revelation, zero understanding, zero vision, nothing. Mm -hmm. It ends there. It doesn't do anything more than that. Mm. Is somebody catching what I'm saying? So some of you need to relearn completely praying in the spirit what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to what we wanted to read generally. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, verse 26 to 27. And I'm going to break this down as slowly as I can. Amen. Amen. Romans 26, Romans chapter 8, verse 26 to 27. Okay, go for it, sir. Romans 8, 26 to 27. Mm -hmm. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. The Spirit helps our weakness. What Spirit? Keep reading. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. Mm, we don't know anything about what we should pray for. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. But the Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. The reason why you see this word Spirit with a capital S, it's talking about the regenerated Spirit of man. Mm -hmm. because there is no place in the scriptures that the spirit of God is referred to as it. Mm. Mm -hmm. The spirit itself, mm -hmm. that is talking about a third person mm. because you know the spirit of God is God. Mm -hmm. You cannot say God is praying for God. Mm -hmm. God is praying for us. Mm -hmm. Makes no sense. Mm -hmm. 
We have to use the brain. We have to use what? The brain. What, the brain. what is between our ears in here. You have to use it to understand the language. The spirit itself helps also our weaknesses. To pray because we don't know what to pray. Mm -hmm. But the spirit itself prays with groanings that words cannot utter. Have you ever prayed with every word? Then all of a sudden you start crying. Do you know what groaning is? Groaning is not rabasha. Groaning is you just start. There is a deep cry that you can't even understand. Mm -hmm. Why am I crying like this? Not, oh, I worship you. The worship was so good. Oh, it felt so liquid love. No, we are not talking about that. Mm -hmm. It feels like you are in pain. There is this burden that is within your stomach. It is from deep inside of you that you can't help it. You just cry and cry and cry. You are rejoicing, but if somebody saw you, they will think somebody died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is when your spirit has taken over to pray. Mm -hmm. Not the Holy Spirit has come over you. When the Holy Spirit comes over you, you are like a drunk person. When you look at the disciples, they thought they were drunk. Mm -hmm. That is the manifestation of the Spirit. But when your spirit man begins to pray, ah, you can get to a dimension where you don't know, your body is confused. Mm -hmm. But it is crying because it's feeling emotions it cannot comprehend. It is feeling a burden. There is like a weight in your chest, in your stomach. You, 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 uh, uh, you, can't, you don't even know. You'll be on the ground weeping. You might find yourself, you cried for three hours. And when you go, get up, you're just, thank you, Jesus. You know there has been a major breakthrough, but you don't know what it is. Mm. Mm. But within a day, you start seeing results that you are shocked. Mm -hmm. Amen. The spirit referred to here is the spirit of man. The same way if you read uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6 to 16, when he's talking about the spirit such as all things, even the deep things of God. How can the Holy Spirit search God? The Holy Spirit is God. Mm -hmm. wow. But my spirit, your spirit, if you are in Christ Jesus, we can search the will, the intention of God. Mm -hmm. We can use our spirit to know. That's how I prophesy. Mm -hmm. My spirit, when I am... when. The worship is going on. People are really ready to hear the voice of God. Every person I talk to, my spirit already went to inquire of God. God, what are you saying about him? What are you saying about him? What are you saying about him? Wow. Then God speaks to me, then I speak to them. Mm -hmm. So if my spirit does not inquire of him, I don't know what to say. I don't know you. Mm -hmm. We've never met. I have no idea who you are, what your problem is. But a man just looks at a man, hey, your husband is going to prison. If we don't pray for him, his, his court case is next week. And if we don't pray for him, he's going in and he's not coming out. Mm. Mm. This issue started in 2016. Mm -hmm. The children are weeping. The wife is weeping. Everybody is weeping. It's true. Mm -hmm. ah, how can I know that? Is it written on their forehead? No, my spirit already inquired with God. Mm. And my spirit searched God concerning them. And God spoke to me. You've seen even sometimes I'll be uh, with my brother, Prophet EJ, or even Prophet Glovis have done this. Even with my uh, brother, Apostle Innocent, I've done this. They may start prophesying with somebody and then I will interject. Excuse me, Prophet, you said everything this is right. But there is also this thing that I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every <laughs> do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Because our spirits have learned to inquire of God. Wow. Is somebody cry and understand this? Yeah, yes. When yeah. when Daniel was saying, when David was saying, my cr heart cries to you. He's talking about his inner man crying, but he now understood why his spirit was crying. Mm. And, and 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 the Bible says we have not received the spirit of the of this world, but the spirit of adoption that makes us to cry, Abba, Father. Mm -hmm. So when you're your spirit is saying, "You are my dad." Wow. It is like Mabi lifting her hands like this to daddy, daddy. Are you getting what yeah. I'm saying? You have to understand you are existing in three dimensions at the same time. Mm -hmm. Read it again. Sorry. Mm -hmm. In 26. Mm -hmm. Keep sharing. We are almost at 800. Keep sharing. 
Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmity. Mm -hmm. For we know not what we should pray for mm -hmm. as we ought. Mm -hmm. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Uh -huh. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit. Ah, so a Spirit is discovering what is in the mind of another what? Spirit. spirit. Is this making sense now? <laughs> And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the spirit. Ah. Because the spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. Mm -hmm. So the will of God, the spirit of God, and the spirit of man are distinct, but mm. yet one person. Mm. Mm. When you are born again, your spirit and the Holy Spirit become attached. There is mm. no differentiating. Mm -hmm. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Mm. So sometimes when you are in church... Let's say you're in Pastor Benny Hinn's service. There is a way the Spirit of God would feel. When you're with Dr. Elias, there's a way the presence of God feels. Are you really feeling the presence of God alone or are you feeling the Spirit of the man also? Mm. Ah, do you understand now? Mm -hmm. That is why where I am, what always happens always will happen. Mm -hmm. Yet it's the same Spirit of God. Where Pastor Benny will be, the same manifestation happens. So when he starts, Father, we thank you, sweet mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. People, ah, what you are feeling is not just the Spirit of God. You're also feeling his Spirit. Mm -hmm. Because the Spirit of God is working with the Spirit of the man that he's been attached to. Mm -hmm. So the character of the person and the anointing on the person manifests through the presence of God. Mm -hmm. wow. Why is it that everybody who feels the presence of God doesn't get the same results? Mm. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Just read it through one more time. Mm -hmm. From the top? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Mm -hmm. For we know not what we should pray for uh -huh. as we ought. Uh-huh. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Mm -hmm. And he that searches the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, mm -hmm. because he maketh intercessions for the saints according to the will of God. Let me show you a scripture that actually says what this is saying in a different way, but you'll understand. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I love the word of God. Amen. 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 Are you guys enjoying this? Yes. yes. I'll show you how to pray in the spirit in a second. Amen. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 27. Proverbs 20, 27. Proverbs 20, 27. Listen to this. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, uh -huh. searching all the inward parts of the belly. Read that again. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, uh -huh. searching all the inward parts of the belly. Okay, who was the one that we read before? Romans 8.26, yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody read that. You keep that mm -hmm. one. Read that one and then read this. And then see what it's saying. <laughs> oh, Lord. 8.26. So read 27. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. One more time. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, uh -huh. because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Okay, read this. Now read it. The Spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. So God, what does God use to search your mind? Your own spirit. Your own spirit. Do you know why on the last day that you will have a witness that will be yourself? <laughs> God is deep. <laughs> Lord, I didn't do that. Your spirit will be like, come on, man. You know on this day. That is why nobody in hell says it is an injustice. Wow. Because when God wants to search you, he uses you to search you. Mm. Because remember, the spirit is a part of him. Yeah. Wow. 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 I, I don't know if somebody caught that. Please read it one more time. 
God is extra deep. Ah, Lord, you're too much. Romans eight twenty seven. Uh huh. And he that searches the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the spirit. He that searches the heart knows what is in the what mind of the spirit. Mm-hmm. So he that searches the heart is different from the one that knows the mind of the. He knows the mind of the spirit. So the spirit's mind or the mind of the spirit is different from the one we're searching. Mm-hmm. 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 So before God used to use the spirit of man to search man. Mm-hmm. But when we became regenerated people because we are at peace with him and we now have his spirit, we can use our spirit to also search him. Mm. So before he was the only one who can do that to us. But now we have the ability to search him. Wow. wow. Know what he wants, when he wants it. Because now, is this making sense, yeah. people? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So the same way he can search us is the same way we can search him. The same way he can search us is the same way we can search him. When when Daniel was when David was saying in Psalms fifty one, uh, I believe it's fifty one, uh, uh, search my heart, mm-hmm. O oh Lord, mm-hmm. look into it. Because your spirit has details of what your intentions of what you're doing is. So when Jesus came to the disciples, he says, why are you guys sleeping? He says, indeed, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? When Jesus asked them, what are you, why are you sleeping? It means their spirit was like, Lord, look at these people. They are spe- sleeping. We are ready to go. Then Jesus was talking to two natures. Mm. The body is weak. But the spirit is willing. Mm-hmm. So the spirit is saying, listen, we, we, Lord, you know we want to go pray. We know what this hour holds. But their flesh has no consciousness of what is happening. Mm-hmm. So Jesus felt sorry for them because there was a disconnect between them and their spirit. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. So even though their body was weak, their spirit was ready to go, but their spirit couldn't do anything. Mm-hmm. So Jesus said, wow, indeed the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. Mm-hmm. So imagine how many of you God looks at you and says, wow. The spirit is weak. <laughs> but the flesh is weak. Ah, oh, Jesus. It's too much. So how do we search? Because now you're realizing that prayer depends on searching the mind of God. Mm-hmm. That is the prayer that God accepts. Mm-hmm. You see... If you read the first prayer that was ever offered by a human being outside of the garden was Cain and Abel. Mm. And when Cain and Abel offered prayer, they gave offerings to God. They knew what God wanted. Mm -hmm. Nobody had ever sacrificed. Nobody had ever been taught to sacrifice. But they knew by the spirit, if you burn grains and meat before God, God enjoys the smell. How did they know that? Mm-hmm. Adam and Eve never killed any animal in the garden. Mm-hmm. They never burnt anything in the, in the garden. The real stone age was in the garden. Mm-hmm. They never needed lights because the angels were there. <sighs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They never needed what we need because they were in another dimension, yet being on earth at the same time. So prayer must always begin with what is God's agenda? So I need to search the mind of God before I start praying. Mm -hmm. Now there is an advantage that us who are born again have. Because the spirit of God and our spirit are are intertwined now. There is no separation anymore. There is no separation anymore. We are, at an, we are at an advantage. We are at an advantage. We simply don't even have to look for God. Within our own spirit, we can know God's mind. Mm. Because he's no longer up there that we have to look for him. Right. He's already inside of us. And our spirit and him are dwelling in the same house. Wow, wow, mm. amen. Wow. So a lot of the work has already been done by the Lord Jesus. Mm. Amen. 
Amen. He has brought himself unto us. Mm-hmm. So that is the first advantage. Now, the second thing is that you have to be observant, not of your mind, but of your soul. Mm -hmm. Because the only way you can discern your spirit is through your soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not what you're thinking, but what you feel. Mm -hmm. And the interpretation of what you're feeling in your heart. Mm That is the beginning stage. There is a stage you get to like me where I know exactly what God wants me to do when I go in prayer. The problem is many of you are governed by your mind, but you're not governed by your spirit. So you cannot pick up what is going on with your spirit. Let me give you an example. Have you ever just, and this happens to all of you, to just show you that you are spiritual, but you don't even know. Mm -hmm. Have you ever just hung out and you feel like, oh, dad is about to call me. Two seconds later, his phone is ringing and it is him calling you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How did you know that he was calling you? Mm-hmm. Oh, we were just talking. I don't know why we use this language. Mm-hmm. Talking of the devil. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 Speaking of the devil. Yeah. Yeah. It's just yeah. like. Yeah. 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 Really? But, but, but watch this. All of a sudden, it's just like. Ah. I was thinking about Charles. All of a sudden, Charles called me. Hey, Papa. I'm like. Ah. How did my spirit pick that up without me thinking? Mm -hmm. It is like that thought was pushed to me. I did not digest it. I did not conceive it. Mm -hmm. It is just something that is reflecting, happening to me. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Maybe this is too prophetic. Maybe I I need to... Let me show you that even the Lord Jesus used this. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Matthew chapter 9, verse 36. Matthew chapter 9, verse 36. Mm-hmm. But when he saw the multitude, mm-hmm. he was moved with compassion on them. N- notice, he was moved. He, was, he didn't want compassion. Mm. <laughs> You guys didn't get it. He was moved. It was something that just happened to him and all of a sudden, he wanted to be compassionate to them. Mm. Is this making sense? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, Jesus is filled with emotions of compassion. Do you know what it means to be moved? All of a sudden, when he just looked at them, something happened. He felt Mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not, Jesus was on his way. His father did not lead him. His father did not tell him, now you're going to make a turn. You're going to meet people. Go pray for them. Mm -hmm. Another time Jesus was walking and he saw a man in a coffin. And he saw people mourning. And when Jesus was passing, obviously he knows where this kid is gone. But when he's passing, he looked at the woman and he felt sorry. Nobody's telling him who is in the coffin. Mm -hmm. He looked at the woman and he felt compassion. And he knew through the compassion that this is her only son. That interpretation of that feeling told him that it was her only son that had died. Mm. So Jesus stopped the funeral and said, hey, young man, get up. Mm. And then he walked away. (laughs) Ah, You guys didn't get it. You you guys didn't get it. I am (laughs) teaching you how to prophesy without teaching you how to prophesy. (laughs) Here we are not talking about what I am digesting in my mind. Or today, the way I'm going to praise God. Every time you've said that, have you succeeded? Mm -hmm. (laughs) And if you did, you just pushed your flesh. It was all in the flesh. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Christine Heaven said, when we are quiet, it means we are shocked. (laughs) God is good. (laughs) Is this making sense? I am not talking about ideas you conceived of. Yeah, God spoke to me. So and so is this to me. So and so is that to me. So and so is my wife. So and so is my husband. So and so is where I'm going to make it. So and so. No, you are thinking. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is not somebody speaking to you. Mm. Right. An example is I cooked dinner tonight. Mm. For those who are online, you missed out. Yeah. Mm. But 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 your wife, Miss Hannah, mm-hmm. over here, she took a bite of the beans. She says, ah, I don't know what it make. It's making me feel and reminding me. She ate again. She says, Wow, this is exactly how it felt like in my grandmother grandmother's house yes. food yes. invoked an emotion yes. that reminded her of her grandmother mm. you see some of you don't know that you are operating spiritually but you are just not connected mm. Mm. have you ever had you know sometimes even when i'm prophesying sometimes i will not hear sometimes i will not see anything i will just pass by somebody and god will send a smell mm-hmm. and that smell will tell me what is going on mm. God has built my database of sense from my memory growing up that I know what these smells mean now. Mm-hmm. Because I kept track of each and every one of them because I encountered them so many times. Mm-hmm. Sometimes there's a certain emotion. I will just look at a woman. She has a ring on. All of a sudden, I just feel like I am cold and alone. There is no voice. There is no vision. I'll say, woman... Your husband left you. Yes, it is true. Because what I felt, it felt like somebody has been left. Mm -hmm. Not because I had a voice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to delete this video video. after. (laughs) I wasn't even even thinking of that. It was not me thinking. Mm -hmm. I just looked at her all of a sudden. I said, woman, give me that ring. Let me pray for you. Mm -hmm. Your husband has already left you. And they will cry. And somebody who is a fake prophet will say they have a ring on. God is going to bless your marriage. (laughs) Because they are speaking from the outward appearance. I don't prophesy from the outward. I only prophesy to the spirit. Mm -hmm. What I am picking up spiritually is the only thing I speak about. Mm -hmm. Remember uh, before we went to to Dallas, Mm -hmm. before we went to Dallas, the man on the wheelchair that had been shot three times, that could walk, that God raised out of the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. I told him, listen, there is something else they found with your kidney. Mm -hmm. And your liver said, no, 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 no. This IV is not for that. I said, listen, I am not talking to you about this IV. I am looking at you. And I'm seeing some. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, They told me my my kidneys are not working properly. They are not cleaning blood properly. I said, yes, because me, I'm not looking at your IV in your hand. has not nothing to do with what. None of the things I said is because of how you look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And remember, the person who brought them to service himself looked like he was high or something. I can't really remember. I'm praying for everyone. I said, who is Jeffrey? God is telling me Jeffrey. He said, Every- <gasps> I never seen anything like this. He's Jeffrey. He's the one who told us to come. That is because now those are two different realms operating at the same time. Those are realms of visions. But what I'm trying to explain to you is that none of these things... None of these things was because of the outward. None of these things manifested because of the outward manifestation. I am just speaking, I am aware, I am watching, my soul is watching my spirit like this. Every move my spirit makes, my soul is picking up because my soul needs to relay that message to my body so I can communicate it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when my spirit begins to work for God, serve God, I have to watch my spirit to know what my spirit is doing, Mm -hmm. where my spirit is going, what my spirit is saying, how it is saying it, how it is doing it. I don't know if somebody's getting me. I, I don't know if somebody's getting me. So the first thing is that you have to be good at observing your spirit. Mm-hmm. I am going to, I'm going to make a statement. Please don't take it wrong. When your mind moves around a lot and you're not able to become You are a baby Christian. That is what the Bible defines as a baby Christian. Mm -hmm. When you have no control of your soul. Mm -hmm. 
it means you are still not developed spiritually. So before I go and pray, I need at least 10 minutes of sitting in silence to try and pick up what God has dropped in my spirit. Mm -hmm. Have you ever just felt like you need to pray for somebody? Mm -hmm. So and so. Mm -hmm. You just, you don't know if something bad, something good is going to happen. You just feel like you need to pray for them. That is God telling you, giving you a prayer point to go and pray. Mm -hmm. Some of you, God has never given you more prayer points. Some of you, God has never given you more prayer points. Simply because of one thing. When he gave you one burden, you never took care of it. Mm. So your mail, mail is piled up. Mm. No more space. No more space. So the first one he sent, you didn't get it. The second one, so now he can't send you anything because you're not getting the memo. Mm. He's just getting return mail, return mail, return mail, return mail. This is why a child of God must treasure what is called peace and calm. Me, I don't like, I'm, we, I love loud house, fun. but the moment somebody begins to frustrate my spirit, I promise you before God, you will never see me again. That is something I never tolerate. It is something I cannot allow because it grieves my spirit and it puts me in a position whereby I can't interact with God the way I need to. Mm -hmm. And my relationship with God is the most important thing to me. Mm -hmm. More than anything, more than anyone. Jesus, number one. Mm -hmm. If I don't have that in place, then my purpose, I am missing the purpose and the reason why I'm in earth. Mm -hmm. Julie, Ju, Julian Elias Page, oh my daughter, listen to what she's saying. And I love what she says. She says, those of you asking for prayer, I hope you're hearing, I hope you're hearing what the prophet, what the hearing the prophet and capturing, it is your answer. You see some people, you're on here, you don't want to grow. You just want to pray for me, prophesy to me, pray for me, prophesy. How many times am I going to do that? Every time you have a problem, you have to look for me. Mm -hmm. That is not why I'm here. Tomorrow God can call me home. Tomorrow God can call me, okay, come back home. Does that mean you will look for somebody else to be praying for you? Mm -hmm. That's nonsense, people. Let's grow up. Is somebody getting this? Yes. Isha la, la, Laos, you need to watch the whole message because I talk about what you're asking. Somebody else, we just said that another person says, right prophet, prophesy for me. Ah, uh ah. -uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Christians. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Father, help us. What I'm giving you is better than prophecy. Mm. Amen. <laughs> is somebody getting what I'm saying? Yes. And I want you to capture this with every... Oh, Mama Rachel, God bless you. Love you, Mama. So capture this by the Spirit of God. Please, 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 I beg of thee, capture this by the Spirit of God. Prayer is not just a compilation of what is happening in your physical life. Mm. Mm. That's what we have reduced prayer for. Oh, Father, now I pray huh, for the protection of my children. Huh? Father, I pray, bless me, increase me. Huh? Father, forgive my sins. Huh? Father, I pray that whatsoever I lay my hands on huh, will prosper. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Fill me again, Lord. Notice every prayer point I have prayed is in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Has nothing to do with God's agenda. Mm -hmm. 
Zero. Mm -hmm. And you wonder why God is not talking to you. Mm. You have never asked him, hey, God, what do you want me to take care of? Because when God gives you a prayer point, when you are praying concerning that point, you are making yourself an agent to bring solution to that problem. Mm -hmm. Because God needs bodies to carry out his will on earth. That is why sometimes angels have to take the form of men to do certain work because human beings are sleeping. Mm -hmm. Is somebody listening to me? Mm -hmm. Listen. Learn to be somebody. Sometimes you just, okay, I'm about to pray. Let me prepare my mind. Let me clear my mind. Mm. from any trouble any because the moment you go into prayer with an agenda you have already wasted in prayer because you don't know why what god wants to talk about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you notice every time moses prayed he never prayed for himself he was busy about the children of israel mm -hmm. do you realize that the only time moses started praying for himself is when god told him you're not going into the promised land mm -hmm. Before that, Moses was like, ah, 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 Lord, your people, your people. Because that was the burden God had given him, mm -hmm. to be a mediator between him and his people. Mm -hmm. You don't hear him say, Father, fill me again. <laughs> Father, forgive me again. <laughs> Father, lift me up again. <laughs> More miracle signs and wonders. That's all fleshly. Mm -hmm. When you're with him, he sends you. Miracles, signs and wonders become... It is God that told Moses, I will make you do miracles. It wasn't Moses who said, if you're going to send me, you better do miracles. <laughs> we have become so clever that we have become stupid. Mm. <laughs> I'll say it again. I'm sorry. You know, but, you know, there are things that are not insults. It's just the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are, are you listening to what I'm saying? John saw people and said, you snake. <laughs> Paul wrote a letter, foolish Galatians. <laughs> he wasn't insulting them. He was calling them what they were. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say it again. Many of us, in our cleverness, we have become stupid mm -hmm. and foolish. The art of purity begins with how you process because what hinders God from speaking to you is your mind first. Mm -hmm. Many of you have already disqualified yourself. You're going into prayer with the intention knowing God is not going to answer you. Mm. But then you still pray and say, God, why didn't you answer me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep sharing. We're at eight, 800 now, 822. Keep sharing. So it means that you need to start taking a log and becoming more aware. Wow. Awareness. I'm about to pray. Let me take 10 minutes to just cleanse my, myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Father, purify me. Cleanse my mind. Cleanse my heart. So that I may hear from you. So that I may pray the right way. Mm -hmm. wow. Then you sit for a few seconds. You observe your spirit. At that time, you could be praising and worshiping God. Because prayer must always be ignited with praise and worship. Mm -hmm. Father, you are good. Father, you are precious. And all your focus is there. Your focus is not on the beans, the mm -hmm. meat, the he who did that, who did that. Your focus is the Father, I praise you. Father, I thank you. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. there will be a burden that will be dropped. It mm -hmm. will be like, boom, like text message. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you find yourself, Rabba Daba Shata, I lift up so and so. You notice now you're praying for people that are not even in your close proximity. Mm -hmm. You start to pray concerning things that are not even what you are thinking of praying for. Mm -hmm. You start to realize that God will start to even give you answers to prayers to what you need to do next, simply because you stayed quiet. Mm -hmm. Because prayer is an interaction. Mm -hmm. Just when you're there, Rabba Daba Father, I bless you. You are praying all of a sudden, you just drop in your spirit. Start crypto. Start doing this. I will show you what to do. Before you know it, boom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. 
Uh, let me finish. Guys, I love you. I just got really tired. You Amen. made me want to go far. Amen. God bless you all. Rewatch this, learn something, and may your life change forever. In Jesus' name, amen.